Welcome back to SB Nation and BarkingCarnival.com. My name is Dan Rubenstein. That, of course, is Sarah Smith. You might know her better as the Texas F-bomb girl, but she is so much more. And we're here not to talk about that, although we might talk about that for a second, but how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I'm doing well. Um, let's preview Alabama Notre Dame. Okay. And what we're going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you a question, and you're going to, it's out of 10, out of 10 F-bombs, I want you to review the different sides of the ball. F-bombs good, F-bombs bad. So, like, ten F-bombs would be great. Okay. One F-bomb. Who needs one F-bomb? More the merrier. All right. <laughs> the Alabama offense. Out of ten F-bombs, A.J. McCarron, duo of running backs. What do you think? I'm going to give them a six. Six F-bombs. Six F-bombs. Any reason for that? Uh, I just think A.J. McCarron's a little bit more experienced mm -hmm. than Notre Dame's offense. That's so. fair. Okay, so Notre Dame's defense against Alabama's offense. How many F-bombs out of ten? Ooh, I think I think that's going to be close. Uh, I'll give that a six too. Six f bombs, so above average is what mm -hmm. you're saying. All right, so Notre Dame's offense against Alabama's defense. See, that's where I think the there game's going to be won. Could be some struggles. Um, I'm going to go with five on for the Notre, Notre Dame, Dame offense. Offense, and I'm going to go with about a seven and a half. Okay. On Alabama's defense. Alabama's defense. So you think the strongest unit on the field, you're giving seven and a half F-bombs to Alabama's defense. Yes. Why is that? They have just been really consistent this season um, on that side of the ball. Yep. And I think defense wins ball games, so this it's is worked. True. It's worked in the past for Bama. I think it's going to work again. That seems like sound reasoning. Nick Saban and Brian Kelly are two coaches who, fiery, I guess would be a fair way of describing them. Uh, how many F-bombs for Nick Saban? <laughs> well, gosh, this kills me. <laughs> but I'm going to give him nine. Nine F bombs. I, it's fair. He's it's a tough. fantastic coach. He's a very good coach. Would you like him if he were Texas's coach? No. Okay. That's <laughs> I like the candor. I like the honesty. Brian Kelly, somebody who gets very upset on the sidelines. I like it. As an expert, as somebody being frustrated over like lackluster football at times. I like it. Brian Kelly, how many F bombs? You know, I'm going to give him nine, too, just because he's, he's been able to come in and do at Notre Dame, I think, has been great. Undefeated. I like his excitement. Undefeated F-bombs. All right, so we talked offense, we talked defense. Coaches, mm -hmm. is there an X factor to you about this game, whether it's here in Miami, whether it's the momentum? What is the X factor for you? I think the X factor is just that Bama has more experience playing in these high-caliber games. Um, the guys on the roster right now, they've been there, they've done it, they know how to deal with the pressure. Uh, I think that will come into play. So the X Factor goes to Alabama. Mm -hmm. So how many F-bombs go to that F Factor, the, F -factor, the X Factor for Alabama? Experience, um, preparation, where do you rate that? The intangible X Factor. How many F-bombs? Oh, I don't know. We'll give that one a, give that one a five. Five. Okay. That's fair. Um, that is Sarah Smith. You have seen her just swearing over and over again <laughs> underneath us. But Sarah, thank you very much. Anything thank to you. say to, to Barking Carnival people for okay. sending you? That seems like the fair thing to say. <laughs> we'll see you soon.